Good evening. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you will come back tomorrow. We've actually spent our day out and about at Lauren, Mikey, Lucy, and Josie's house, but I don't think that we intro. Yeah, tonight is Friday night. Taylor Swift is in Chicago. Who knows what's gonna happen? Reaction. Harmonious is off of Disney Plus. Like the live? Yeah. Someone had to boot like that. I hope so. I worked out the last two days with Christina, Mary Ryan, Patrick Sicard. Oh, damn. And it's not been fun. Mary I'm sore. Um, I have muscles, got work so that I haven't had work since Orange Theory. And it's so my my or my Chicago Marathon training has officially begun, and I'm doing a weight loss challenge with like my the leadership group at work, like my director and our my peer managers. So nothing motivates more like a competition. I got some money on the line, three months of getting healthy. What? I'm gonna win. Alrighty, dinner tonight is Greek bowls. There are potatoes and zucchini that we air fried up, some baked chickpeas, a little salad that Christina threw together, feta, and tzatziki sauce. I'm on a sweet little walk with James to get him to sleep around the streets of Evergreen Park. Very nice. Just like so surreal to be walking on the streets that I grew up on, pushing my babies around. They may not grow up in this village, but it's nice to visit, nice to show them around, and. Nice to think about what Peter at this age in Evergreen Park was thinking about when that was the thing. Now I'm here, living my best dreams. I have not prioritized watching Queer Eye this new season, so I'm actually relaxing and just watching TV, which I don't really do very often. I got the babies asleep on the monitor. Um, Peter and Grant just went to Taco Bell. I've been like, I needed like a baked good and christina was like i'm feeling taco bell and they have those like cinnamon like not the twists but the little like donutty things so i've got some of those um and yeah we have two more nights here and it's finally like like peter's not working it kind of like we've kind of settled into our groove it's so funny like we used to stay up so late and like it's just and like how the times have changed with the little ones um I know, it's funny, you can look back at past vlogs from Chicago. If you like see our playlist, there's a Chicago playlist. Not only does that have vlogs from when we lived here, but at the very beginning you'll see like our past trips and you can just see how um, things have like progressed over the years and it's, I don't know, it's just, it's so fun. This Obviously we love the vlog for so many reasons and I can go on and on and on. But just documenting life, um, is so special and so meaningful um and i think we've we've really mostly talked about coming here this trip to do the kickball game in honor of my dad's birthday but tomorrow june 3rd is actually the anniversary of my mom's passing and so it's kind of like that's why the kickball game has truly come to be more of a celebration of both of their lives um, but obviously it's always wonderful when we can be with the family for anniversaries of this nature um and so my older sister jenna will be over tomorrow and um we just have a day full of like food planned <laughs> we that's what that's what we do we haven't necessarily had a ton to do this trip but it just has been go 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 and so i'm happy to be just sitting here kind of kicking off pride month with watching queer eye like intentionally and um i don't know i just I feel like I feel peaceful right now. It's coming, you know, our trip is coming to a close, which is the last couple of days I'll ever be in this house, which is a huge chapter. And so, like, it just feels good to, like, even with the chaos, um, to, like, have this, like, peaceful moment. So, <laughs> thanks for joining me with it. I didn't expect this to become a Sarah ramble. That will be all. Would you like any sauce? Please. 
think just like a mixture of all of them. Mixture of all, please. I'd like to point out that it was actually Christina's idea to get Taco Bell the same. Me and Grant have no, we have no self-control, <laughs> so we ordered a ton of food. Always Christina's idea. Actually, no. We both said it at the same time. I, and then I pushed them to the finish line. If I didn't come upstairs, you guys would have been in bed still, sleeping. No, I have homework. But we wouldn't have gotten Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh, Sarah's watching Queer Eye if you need to do homework and get back. Not one, two bags of Taco Bell. Success. For absolutely no reason. <laughs> Good morning. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlog. So we do we do make sure you come back every day. Um, James and I just woke up. Everyone else is asleep. We are going to run to Wolf's Bakery in Evergreen Park to pick up a dozen donuts. Um, before everybody else wakes up, it's one of... One of one of Sue's favorite little breakfast treats. Um, today is the unfortunate anniversary of Sarah's and Christina and Jenna's mom passing away two years ago. So uh, thank you if you guys have been around supporting us. Thank you for always being there with us during our hard times. But today is a sad day, but we are going to try to do what Sue would want us to do. So it's going to be spend time, spend time together, eat a bunch of good food, watch a good TV and movies. So I think that's I think that's the plan essentially nothing crazy is planned i mean we've got a potential dinner idea potential going to get tattoos idea but if we end up just sitting around in our comfies watching movies and eating good food all day i think that's that would be good but we're gonna go grab wolf's bakery since it's early and everything will be fresh still and no one's awake so what's better way for everybody else to wake up than to some nice donuts all right we got a dozen donuts here from wolf's James is in the car enjoying one. I think Grant wanted a Krispy Kreme. So I think I might go pick up like three or four donuts from Krispy Kreme. There's one on Western. Um, Cause everybody deserves what they want. <laughs> Watching grandma's favorites. Let's see these. Nice cartwheel. We watched Cinderella. And now we got Mary Poppins on. <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! James is very intrigued by, by Bert. I uh, probably shouldn't have done leg day with Christina yesterday, knowing I had to do five miles today, but. I did, and I thought, what a great motivation to run to the cemetery to go see Sarah's parents. Um, so, just made it hotter than I thought. Um, but Sarah's gonna come pick me up in a little bit here. I'm gonna go visit her parents and meet her at them at the front of the cemetery. Um, you know, grief looks differently at different times for everybody. I don't believe any of the Ryan girls think their parents are here. They carry them with them. I just got in the habit over the past couple of years because I went to community college on the way past the cemetery that I used to visit Sarah's dad often. So um, I do like to come stop by every now and again. So I'm gonna stop by, visit them. I actually see a car. I wonder if there's another family member here. Um, and then Sarah will pick me up at the front of the cemetery in a few minutes. So I feel really good I gotta run. Was not what I expected because of doing legs yesterday, but I think this one was for Jim and Sue, right? What are you doing to that child? Ooh. Ooh beautiful. You got them slippers? Happy Easter. <laughs> Do you need a pair of slippers? Yeah, baby. <laughs> good job putting those on. Yeah, good job. Like, like, what you got on your head? You got grandpa's jester hat on? For lunch today, we got Lawrence's fish and shrimp. My mom and dad's. One of them. 
<laughs> One of my parents' favorite little little splurges that they would have to drive far away for. It was right on 87th now, if anyone's in the area. Bingo, what's his name? You singing bingo? I actually did. Cute. Okay. This is Violet's gaming area. Yep. I made her a fancy drink because that's just what Auntie Sarah does. Where do you? Right here. Okay, perfect. There you go. Some pomegranate, San Pellegrino, and orange juice. Enjoy. All right. We were gonna go to LaGrange Avenue to go eat some restaurant outside, but then we realized we could go in Evergreen Park. So we're gonna go to a restaurant called Unidad or see if they have any availability. Look at this kid. Hi! Hi! Sarah's trying to subconsciously convince me that we should just drive downtown and sit outside of Soldier Field for the Taylor Swift concert tonight. Change of plans. The place we were going to go on 95th Street, did you say Unidad? Yeah. yeah. Um, their like outdoor patio, and that's how we wanted to, to sit, was like couldn't accommodate our big party. So we're going to try a different place called Open Outcry. I've been there before. Peter has not. It was one this of. doesn't work out where we're going to go to be. Or something. Um, but we just drove past our apartment that we moved out of in 2017, where we actually did. There's a, we filmed there a lot on the Fab Five 207 channel, so like, that apartment, like we haven't driven past there in so long. And like, it was kind of like where we like really sank into our infertility journey and like where we decided to move to Florida because of where we were. So it's kind of like, ooh, some, like so many happy memories. We brought Eve home there. We also like, a lot has happened since then. We also had a cranky neighbor. That's another story. Baby, what do you got? You got Pop. We're at this place called Open Outcry. You have to be 21 and older to sit outside upstairs. So we're inside, but it's looking good. We got me a double hoppy IPA. It's not very good. So hopefully the next one's better. But it's a it's a pizza joint. Do you want some pizza? Woo. Okay, just pepperoni. Okay. Do you want me to put all this garbage on your pizza? Jamesy, what's better? A fire here or a fire at uh, Wilderness Lodge? That's a tough question, man. Right here, buddy. Right here. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. Daily vlog. Some news for you. Make sure you come back every day. I am out meeting up with some ACS people to go cheer on some half marathon runners. So, I'm on like the west side of Chicago right now. I think this is Garfield Park. I can see, I can hear a helicopter. I can see road closure up there. I can hear, I didn't realize we we're gonna be this close. Like I can hear the announcers. I don't think it has started yet. We'll see, but I'm still like a block or two away from where ACS is meeting. Helicopters.
of America Chicago Half Marathon. Have a wonderful day. It was great. It was wonderful catching up with ACS friends, seeing some ACS runners, including Matt, who is a Run Disney runner, um, and then Jessica Bloodgood, who is one of our ACS staff members for Chicago and has helped out previously with Run Disney, was running it. It's great to see her run it. Uh, just catching up with them, talking ACS, talking life. So, uh, but it is getting towards the end of the race and I need to get back. The kids are up and Sarah's putting Teddy down for a nap already, so they've been up for a while. So, time to get back, spend the last chapter of time here with Christina and the kids before we pack up and head back to the airport because we are going home today. I miss my Evie girl. Yay! Yeah. 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 We're rounding out our stay with a dip party. Look at, look at all these dips. This is a grandma special. Just plain sour cream on the counter. Bag of, bag of lays. Kids are playing in the backyard these last couple hours. I had to install a new hardwired smoke detector carbon monoxide combo in the house, but that wasn't too difficult. We're playing with rocks. We're playing the swing. You got a big bum, looking bluey. The energy always sort of shifts our last day here. We haven't experienced this, you know, with kids. Before, you know, we lived in Florida 2017 to 2021. And when we moved back, like that was James's first time here. And so, it's, a, it's, it's we're feeling heavy today, but we're just like soaking in our last moments. We're actually, we'll see the sick cards very soon. Hopefully, Grant's injury might change things, but um, we do have fun summer plans. James. Wow. You watching all the planes go off? James, did you know that we just had the most smooth experience from curbside check-in with three checked bags, a checked pack and play, two checked car seats, returning a rental car to come in and not have a line at all through security. That's an A-plus experience and then discovered that our baby's top two molars came through. We didn't even know. So now he's got 700 teeth and two molars. So we said goodbye to the family. We said goodbye to the house. So it was quite the goodbye. We wanted him to sleep before we got on the plane, but hopefully he'll sleep on the plane. But anyways, the point of that clip was to say that we're very excited for their family and their next chapter, and we're just proud of them. And it was just like serendipitous, the timing that we got to come and all of it. So We made it on the plane. 1% better in the camera, a sleeping baby, a little bit delayed from crew, but... We're looking good. A 
All right, it is 1020. We are back in Orlando. What we said when we landed, we gave that flight a C. Solid C. Everybody stayed awake the whole flight. Many got restless, but like spirits like stayed majority fine. Yeah, there were no like temper, temper tantrums or anything. No, like it was just no, constant. Yeah, so it was like it was it was tiring, but like solid C. <laughs> like, and honestly, like just to be honest, James probably deserved a higher grade, like an individual grade. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was good. It, it for for that situation, it went by pretty fast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have to. No, we gotta figure we out. Got a couple of steps before we get home, but <laughs> <laughs> we're close. All right, since it's late, it's 10:45. Luggage was super easy. Nothing went to oversize. Popped out right when we were there. So everyone's coming with me on the coach bus back to the West parking lot, rather than me go. If you're interested in like, like how we did that, like parking at the airport and such, like we can talk about that more. Yeah, we'll give it Maybe a detail in a later. Or yeah, we'll but like, it was a good. It, it was smooth. Look who is happy. We're home. Boys are asleep. Sorry for this awful quality video, but. We're ready for bed. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>